Hi, today this is Mr. Sprudic, um, and I'm going to do this really quickly. This is uh, 22 questions is really a lot. I, I can't do this all, um, but I can go through over, over some quick things for you from this, and hopefully this will help you. All right, first thing is you got to know that anything that has magnitude and direction is a vector. So vectors have magnitude and direction. So anything that has magnitude and direction is a vector. Scalar just means a number only, which means like speed is a scalar because it's not doesn't have direction. Velocity is a vector because we care about direction. So anything that we care about direction, velocity, acceleration, displacement, um, force, whatever, those are all vectors. Scalars would be like speed um, or uh, so again here so you see the word speed, that would be a scalar, okay? Where acceleration has direction, so that's gonna be a vector. All right, so there you go. That should help you for the next one, too. Next one talks about a hiker going three kilometers north, four east, five south, and four west. Okay, now, there you could look at the picture and try to guess it, but I'm just going to tell you, anytime you have something with a bunch of directions, I would take anything east or west, go in one direction. I'd have anything north and south, and I'd do columns. So if you have um, three kilometers north, whoops, I messed that up. Let me make this north, south. All right, so if I had three kilometers north, east and north, there we go. Uh, so I put that for three north. Then I had four east. So far, so good. I'm adding them up. So if they're east and west, they go in one column. If they're north, south, go in the other. Then we have five south. So if we go five south, I'm going to make this a negative because it's going the opposite direction. And then we have four west. Four west, I'm going to make that negative as well because if east is positive, then west has to be negative, okay? So then you would add them up. So with something like this, what you would do is you'd add, add up the columns. We have a four plus a negative four, we got a zero. We got a three plus a negative five, we got a negative two. So really what that means is you essentially only went two kilometers south because it's negative. So really, you started here, you went there, so that's only two kilometers south, okay? Coordinate system, x component um, of the vector, um, trig stuff, so you have, what's the magnitude multiplied by trig and So um, we have x component given vector, so what's the x component? So anytime we have a graph, right? This is x, this is y, well, it's saying a vector's magnitude multiplied by which trig, no, no, yeah, which trig function. So basically, you're going to do this. If you want to get the x value, this is the hypotenuse. This is the x value. So that would be, if this is opposite side and this is adjacent side, that means it's cosine. So it should be h times cosine theta. Okay? Um, athlete runs 110 meters across at an angle of... Uh, 30 degrees north of east. So you're going to have to do that. You got, you got a hypotenuse and you got an angle, which is 30 degrees, and this is 110. Okay? If you want to get the X and Y components, again, this is your X component, which would be the hypotenuse times cosine of the angle, which I use theta, and this would be the hypotenuse times sine of the angle. There you go. Uh, for the winter, a duck flies... 10 meters per second due south. So it goes like that, 10. And then with a, a velocity of a north, let's see, with the wind blowing to the north, so you have a wind blowing to the north, whoopsie, 2.5. Okay, so we have it going the opposite direction. We have something going to the south. I'll draw it again. So I got 10, 10 south, and then I have... 2.5 going north from there. So 10 and 2.5. Well, the 2.5 is going the opposite direction, so you're going to have to subtract it here, right? So you'll have to subtract it out and get your answer for what the new result would be. And if you think about it, if it's going, I said 10 south was a positive number and 2.5 was a negative number, that's north. You shouldn't end up with a positive number, which means your answer should end up, be, end up going Think about that, going south. All right. You have an ant on a picnic table that travels 15 centimeters eastward, then 25 centimeters north. 
Okay, what is the ant's directional displacement relative to its original position? So now we just have two directions, and notice how they're perpendicular. And what that means is that you have a, a right triangle and a hypotenuse. So you're going to have to do Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay? All right. Um, and then, um, then you need the angle. The angle, if you see, this is the angle they want right there. Okay, so that means this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. If you know your Sokotoa, O over A, that's tangent. So tangent of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. I'm going to rewrite over here. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. You need to solve for the angle, which means you're going to do inverse tangent to that tangent to cross it out. And inverse tangent, you have to do it to both sides to the opposite over adjacent. And notice how these cancel out now. Yoink, yoink, you get theta by itself, which means angle is equal to inverse tangent opposite over adjacent. Okay, ball thrown upward when caught comes back down. The absence of air resistance, the magnitude of the speed of the ball when it caught would be less than the speed it had been thrown upward. So this is asking about speed. Um, so it's, it was, it's thrown up and then comes back down. So it's just talking about speed, so it doesn't ask about direction. The idea is that when something comes up and goes up and comes back down, the if let's say the velocity here was 10, when it gets back down to the same height, it's going to be negative 10. Whatever the velocity is, if it's at the same height, will be the same value but negative. Okay, now you have a lot of falling object stuff. This is a lot of stuff here. Um, and so uh, you're going to have to do some falling object stuff. I'm just going to tell you to list your givens and figure out equations. You see that it's falling from rest, so that don't forget initial velocity is zero. Uh, you have to solve for V final, and acceleration should be negative 9.8. All right. Uh, and now you got projectile motion, so I'm seeing everything. This is a whole lot of stuff here, okay? I'll pick one right here. One here, marble rolls off the table. So you have a ball is going like this and falling down. Okay, how far, how fast was the marble rolling as it went off the table? So you need to always have, when you do a problem like this, you have vertical, horizontal, you need to keep them separate. So vertically, we know acceleration is negative 9.8. Horizontally, the acceleration is zero. The vertical or the initial velocity in this case is what you're looking for, but notice how there's no vertical velocity this way. It's only horizontal. That's a horizontal velocity. So this velocity is going to be zero. This one is what you're going to look for. All right. You're going to have to go back and, uh, and uh, what else? We're going to have to solve for distance. I'd use it as XF or you could write it as D, your distance. Well, the table is 1.3 meters. Is that vertical or horizontal? Well, that's going to be vertical. Okay. It falls 5.6 meters away. Well, that's a horizontal distance. 5.6 is here. All right, um, you're going to have to solve for time, and you're going to have to solve for time on both sides. So the first one, because you have only one unknown on the vertical side, I would solve for that vertically first. And I'm going to tell you, you got a formula, square root of 2xf over a, and you're going to have to solve for that only using vertical numbers, never horizontal. Then you're going to do horizontal, all right, horizontal, you can do xf is equal to vi times t. And you're going to have to use the time you got here for vertical. Vertical is the only thing you can have. Well, that you can use that time down below. And you know XF is going to be 5.6. You have to solve for initial velocity. All right. Well, that's as much as I can help you. Um, but uh, good luck. And I'm happy to help you more. But obviously, 22 questions is a whole lot. So good luck to you.